Hello and welcome everyone. It's our science year 2 lesson. We are still in unit 6, light and dark. Today we are going to focus on topic shadows. I know you are ready. We are wasting much time. Let's go. First, let us refer to your textbook page 66 with the topic shadows. Let us read this together. Why are the black objects following us? Those are shadows. How is a shadow formed? Let us investigate. So, today we are going to investigate how a shadow forms. Are you ready? Let's check it out. For this investigation, there are few apparatus and materials that you have to prepare with. The first one is torch, clay, white card, model of an animal, and mahjong paper. Yes, I know, it is better that if we can do this investigation together at school, but for the time being, we cannot do so. It is good if you can prepare these apparatus and materials at home, but if you don't have this, it is okay. You can always replace these few apparatus with something else, such as torch. You can use your handphone application, the torch light application in your handphone to replace this, clay this one is actually to hold the torch but you can use anything that can hold the torch or anything that can hold the phone on the mahjong paper white card i think this one should be no problem you can use anything in white so that the shadow will look clear on it right and then model of an animal you can use any objects with the suitable size the one that you can hold in your hand all right such as apple pencil box water bottle as long as, as you can use it and handle it easily in your hand mahjong paper you have it it's good but if you don't have it you just label the floor in your house or you can use anything to mark down here just like the one you, you see in the picture here it doesn't matter but if you cannot do so, you cannot replace any of these apparatus and materials, you just pay attention with my explanation. I will help you to walk through this investigation together. Alright, let's start. Step 1, mark A to D on the mahjong paper. Like this, clockwise, mengikut arah pusingan jam A, B, C, and D. Like I said, if you don't have mahjong paper, you can label on your table, study table, or on your floor. Use cello tape to, put, to label A, B, C, and D. As long as it's in this position, it's good enough. And then, step 2, place a torch on the clay in the middle of the mahjong paper. If you don't have the torch and the clay, you may use your handphones. And you can hold the handphones just using your hand or anything, phone holder, anything or a book, anything that can hold the phone in the middle and pointing to the white card. If you don't have white card, you just point on the wall in your house. As long as the light is clear, it's good enough. Alright, the third step. Switch on the torch, press the model of the animal or any object in position A. Observe the screen. Now, you place the animal on A position. Remember, the torch is pointing on the whiteboard or on the wall. The animal or the object that you chose, you place on the position A here. And then, observe. Perhatikan. And then you mark down here. Position A. Shadow. Is it form? Ada tak bayang-bayang? Is it form or not form? Ataupun tidak ada. Right? If there's no shadow, you write down not form. Right? Not form. Then, step 4. Move the model of the animal or objects to position B, C and D. And then you have to move from A to position B, do some uh, observation and write down your observation here, record your observation, and then position C here, and position D behind the torch or behind your handphone. Record your observation in the table as shown below, right? I want you to do this form, you copy this form, right? 
in your science exercise book right and record your observation here right a do you think this the shadow is formed on the whiteboard or, or on the wall hmm. if you are doing this observation i know you will have the answer all right but i have done this investigation myself and these are the results that i get all right a not form b form c not form d not form if you do this investigation on your own at home you may have your answer here you just copy this table in your exercise book okay in your exercise book but if you don't have the materials the apparatus to do this investigation you just copy my observation here right just like this i hope that is clear i hope that this makes sense to you all right let's proceed all right do you still remember why did we do the investigation just now yes because we want to know how is a shadow form okay bagaimana bayang-bayang terbentuk all right now you know how a shadow is formed isn't it a shadow is formed when light is blocked by an object blocked by an object all right that is how a shadow form i have one more question for you this time you will think and do some revision anything that you can read from your textbook page 66 or you can refer to any youtube video look for this answer at which position of the object is the shadow form ah you have done the invest investigation just now isn't it just now you just observe in which position uh, that the shadow is formed when the object are uh, moved but this time when there's a shadow form in which position is it uh, is it next to the object is it behind the object is it opposite the object or is it behind the torch light all right this one you don't have to put in your exercise book just leave your comment in the comment section below i will read it all right let's go to the next activity for this activity let's get ready with your science activity book and turn to page 41 in page 41 you may find this exercise all right i investigate arrange an object to form a shadow i think this is going to be easy for you because you have done this investigation just now isn't it the apparatus is quite the same apparatus and materials white screen torch and ball just now we are we are using animal figure isn't it now we are using ball and there are only two position previously we have four position isn't it for this exercise you only have to prepare with two position i think you already already have an idea what is the answer is gonna be isn't it just read the steps here arrange the tools and materials as shown below all right in a position b position switch on the torch and record your observation all right for position a you place the torch light behind the ball and pointing at the wall or white screen and then you observe if there's shadow you write down shadow if there's no shadow you write down no shadow easy isn't it b you press the ball and then the torch light in the middle and white screen here and after that you have to do some observation again if you can see the shadow you write down shadow if there's no shadow you just write down no shadow and answer the two following questions question one which arrangement of objects form a shadow all right if you think this arrangement arrangement a you write down here arrangement a if it's form shadow if you think b if your observation arrangement b form a shadow we write down arrangement b just short answer arrangement a or arrangement b simple enough isn't it and question number two your final question a shadow is formed when light is blocked by an what 
why a shadow is formed. Remember, you can refer to your textbook page 66 or so. Alright, the answer is in there. Alright, boys and girls, that's all for our lesson. I hope I can see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and bye-bye.